Okay, here is another wonderful effect by Werner Miller. And I'll add a link in the description below to where you can find this effect, as well as a link to an entire library of mathematical card effects by Warner Miller. So for this, you need the Ace of Clubs, which we have over here, and then you need six random cards. So I'll take from different parts, four, five, six. And you can have the spectator actually choose those, mix those thoroughly. Now within this effect, we're going to be um, sharing a little secret of card magic that you might want to make note of. So for this, I'm going to, let's see, just deal out into two piles of three. And so what I need you to do first is just point to either pile. It's a free choice. You want this one right here? Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the identity of the top card. This is the card for you to remember. Now, as the performer, I wouldn't see this, of course, right? So you need to remember the nine of hearts. And we'll just set it back on top and then bury it. Okay, and then we're going to take our ace of clubs and we're going to set it face up on top of the packet. Now, there's a reason for that, because I want to let you in on a little secret here. Because when you go to mix cards using this left-right dealing, left-right, left-right, you can sometimes cancel out the effect of one dealing by stacking in the opposite order. So in other words, you're not necessarily really mixing the cards. So I thought what we would do here is we'll go ahead and always stack the right pile on top of the left. And that will enable us, see where's the, the ace is right there, that will enable us to kind of watch the ace move around to verify that, boy, those cards are just being scrambled. Okay, so I'll put right on left. So right now the ace is at the bottom. So keep your eye on the ace. Okay, right on left. Where's the ace now? Uh, fourth from the top. I doubt it's going to be there in a second. Right on left. Where is it now? Second from the top. <laughs> okay, right on left. Where is it now? Third from the top. Okay, so can you see how always stacking right on left or left on right in that case, that ace is all over the place. Now it's sixth <laughs> from the top. Okay, we'll just do one more here. And then right on left. In fact, if you don't like it on top, we can keep doing it. In fact, that's the point. I can keep dealing this way until you tell me to stop. So how many more dealings would you like me to do of the sort I just showed you? Two more. Okay. So we'll do two more. That's just fine. Right on left. And then we'll do another one. I'm not sure how many we've done all together, but you can see that the cards are being well mixed. Now at this point, all we're going to do is spell out the name of the Ace of Clubs, which is our helper card here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just spell out A, C, E, drop the rest on top, O, F, drop the rest on top, and then C, L, U, B, S. Okay, so where has that brought us? Has it revealed anything interesting? Has it helped us to pull off some surprising magic? Well, you tell me, because we're going to look at the identity of the top card after all of this randomization of the packet and then just spelling the name of this helper card, the Ace of Clubs. So what card has risen to the top after all of that madness? I don't know if that card looks familiar to you, but if I'm not mistaken, I believe that is the card you saw at the beginning. Okay, now this will work for you every time. Just do what I showed you here. And you do need to stack right on left when you're doing that left-right dealing. And I gave justification for that. Uh, but this will work every time. It's a very slick, quick routine that gets a wonderful reaction because the spectator can actually see that ace moving positions during this mixing and they can stop at any point in the mixing. But nonetheless, the ace of clubs is able to find the nine of hearts. Isn't that amazing? Okay, and I can let you in on one little secret for the whole thing and then you can play with it and discover more things on your own. Uh, but the fact is, uh, for a packet of seven cards relative to the left-right dealing and stacking the right pile on the left, the fifth card from the top is a fixed point. Okay, so in particular, 
Uh, let me just show you that really quickly. So let's kind of go back in time. This is the card uh, that you remembered. We stacked like this, and then this one went on top. Well, where is your card? It is first, second, third, fourth, fifth from the top. And no matter how many times, even though the ace, the ace will actually move to every position in this packet of seven cards, except for the fifth position, because that's a fixed point. So let me just show you here. So the ace is now in the bottom, but where's the nine? It's fifth. We'll just do one more. So anyway, very clever little routine. Now the ace has moved, right? Ace has moved. So now it's fourth, but guess what? The nine of hearts is fifth from the top. And then the fact is when you spell out A, C, E, drop the rest on top, O, F, drop the rest on top, C, L, U, B, S, drop the rest on top. It is guaranteed to reveal the spectators freely chosen card. So that's the routine and a good part of the secret behind it. So have fun with that and take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.